love with an amazing man. He is spiritual and loves God's grace. He prays for his protection. He's also a relapsing alcoholic. We have known each other for two months. He hid that he had attended AA but said he was sober for six months. He calls himself a functioning alcoholic because he works without a drink but may have up to eight beers a night. And he justifies this by saying it's okay because he's just drinking beer, not whiskey. She wants to know what loving words she can say to him besides telling him of all the gifts God has given him and the love that he deserves. Please, I want him to want to heal for us. God bless. I've been told that I'm pretty straightforward. And you know, Jesus was pretty straightforward, although he had to talk in parables so people could understand what he meant because there was so much confusion. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but, but he was very clear at, at times he spoke with authority and there was no mistaking what, what he meant. So, 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 here, so here goes, you know, run. I mean, I would run. I would tell you to run like there was fire and brimstone falling. I mean, the scriptures say that uh, those that, uh, um, you know, are, are drunkard, you know, drunkards, people that, people that drink, you know, um, addictively, you know, um, when they, they're getting drunk, you know, and uh, they, they are like being in a, in a black hole. So, you know, do you want to fall in a black hole with them? Um, you know, there's some issues, some th something she, this person wants from, from this man, she wants this man for some reason, but she's not able to see uh, unfortunately, um, and mm -hmm. you know that's what God is. God, God is our Father, and a father, if you ask, the scriptures say, if you ask your father to whom, if you ask your father for bread, a piece of bread, to whom, would would he give you a stone? The father that loves you doesn't give you a stone when you ask for bread. Mm -hmm. So, you know, a lo loving parents do what is good for their children, and the way we see it is. You're coming to our ministry, and we want to love you as if you are our children. Just as a, as a metaphor, as an, as an explanation. You're not our children, but I'm just saying. That's why I'm telling you this. Because it's the, it's the love of God. God wants you to know. The guy's in a black hole. You're going to fall in with him. Okay, you want to love the man? The best thing you can do is tell them that you love the man, but because of this, this, and this, you will no longer be able to have a friendship or a relationship with it, whatever that relationship is. That would be the best loving thing you could possibly do to someone like that. But you won't do it. You won't do it unless you ask the Lord to convict you in your heart do what's right in the Lord's eyes, not your own. Because right now you're looking at things through rose-colored glasses, you know the rose-colored glasses syndrome? Mm -hmm. You put on the rose-colored glasses, everything looks rosy, that's what she has, that's what you have. So Jesus is the rock. Read the Bible, but beyond that, there's some wisdom here, and so Thanks for coming. Have a blessed day. Christ, peace.